brain fog. Um, I wrote, I actually started to write my book before um, the pandemic uh, appeared. Um, actually, one of the positives, if there is any positive to come out of the pandemic, is that it has shown a spotlight on brain fog, um, which has existed long before uh, um, COVID. But um, it's shown a spotlight because it's one of the most debilitating um, symptoms of long COVID. And thankfully now it is actually attracting some uh, research interest, um, which is good news um, because a lot of people are affected by brain fog. Um, so really brain fog is an umbrella term that describes a collection of symptoms. And those symptoms, um, uh, they tend to affect um, executive function. Uh, so things like planning, organizing, decision-making, um, attention, um, focus, concentration, uh, language and memory. So language, you know, that word finding thing that we're all familiar with, but also moving on then into um you know, uh, a loss of richness or language or, or a lack of fluidity, um, uh, memory function and learning. And they're kind of uh, both so inextricably linked. So, you know, finding it difficult to take in new information. And then, of course, if you can't take in new information, you know, you're not going to be able to consolidate it as a memory. Um, so forgetfulness as well, forgetting to do things or forgetting what you already did earlier in the day, um, um, forgetting things that people said to you, um, uh, processing speed, a slowing in processing speed, uh, you know, the amount of time it takes you to take in information, make sense of it, and then formulate a response. And, you know, in terms of impact, that's a really good example about how it can dramatically change your personality. An awful lot of people will say they feel like they've lost themselves who they feel like you know uh, completely different and 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 it's very strange so if you've always been someone who's quick-witted first one in with a smart comment or a funny retort if your processing speed has slowed you know by the time you've figured that out the moment's gone and also then for the people around you they're going to see you as something different. And, and it's part of the human condition that if somebody changes in your company, you think it's something to do with you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know, oh, they're a bit cold with me now. They used to be always fun and, you know, cracking jokes with me. Now they don't do that anymore. Similarly with the memory issues, if you're in a relationship and somebody tells you that they're you know, they're not going to be around next week, so they can't make that dinner that we were going to go to or whatever. And you forget that. Um, there's going to be a row sort of in the relationship. And, and the other person might interpret it, if that happens repeatedly, that you don't listen to me anymore. Do you know, not that it's something to do with uh, your brain fog. So um, it really can be quite debilitating. Another, um, there's a mental fatigue, which is different to physical fatigue. Um, you know, when you're physically fatigued, you, you can still think and sort of answer questions. But with mental fatigue, like, you know, you really you just can't think um, and, and your brain sort of feels full. But also, interestingly, with mental fatigue, your estimate of time to physical fatigue is shortened. So you estimate that you will become tired sooner or you estimate that you've less physical energy than you may actually have. Um, and then um, clumsiness, you know, spatial navigation, because of course that's a brain function um, and that's often affected um, people bumping into things. So um, the impact can be really quite devastating, you know, particularly with ex executive function. Um, you know, and we tend to think of decision making and go, oh my God, yes, you might be able to decide, you know, big things like if you have to take out a mortgage or something Something like that, but it's the day-to-day -day decision making that can be completely, you know, interfere with your your quality of life. Like deciding what to wear in the morning, deciding what to have for dinner, can kind of really flummox you. Uh, and it, it 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 kind of sounds small, but actually, it, you know, it really is quite debilitating. And of course, they're all things that everybody has experienced at some point in their lives. But the difference with brain fog is that these things occur regularly. And they're at, of such a level that they interfere with your quality of life, your ability to carry out your job. And of course, as I said, your relationships.